If you're a couple who's looking for a bath and a half Class A gas motorhome that's top of the line, it has that best of the best name, quality, and reputation, then allow me to introduce you to the 2024 Winnebago Adventurer. The model is the 35F. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to be showing you this Class A gas motorhome, the Adventure. They skimped on nothing. Everything about this Class A gas motorhome is quality and top of the line. And before I show you, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everyone! How's it going? It's going good. Hey everybody, I just wanna remind you the Tampa show is next week. Yes! Unfortunately, we will not be representing Winnebago. No! But we do have some good news. Well, Andrea, the good news is our Ocala store is only 70 miles north of Tampa, and obviously we sell Winnebago. So if you guys see a Winnebago that you like at the Tampa Super Show, reach out to our team, and we, you can pick it up here in Ocala. And Andrea, when we go over the MSRP, we actually still have some 23s of these in stock, and I will share the sale price of those as well. You ready? I'm ready. Let's begin. Model is Winnebago Adventurer, the model 35F. Tip to tip length is 35 feet, 10 inches. This has a 74 gallon freshwater tank, 51 gallon gray water tank, and 63 gallon black water tank. Andrea, this is a great motorhome with those tank sizes for full timing in. You know, nice big tanks, big quality motorhome, Winnebago. I think, in my opinion, Winnebago has stepped it up this year. Look at the nice big windshield. This is called the AWS. Lane assist, adaptive cruise control. This is they and they use a special chassis, a special Ford F53 chassis. We'll show you that more on the inside. But again, Winnebago is the only one doing this. I think Fleetwood might be as well, but Fleetwood they make it an option. Winnebago is the only one using the digital dash on the inside. We'll show you that. Look at the Winnebago, very nice looking grill, and then look at these headlights. I love these rectangular looking headlights. They're very tech looking nice sharp lines really bold winnebago designs on a beautiful motorhome and the best part about winnebago most everything you see here is built in designed by winnebago unless obviously it's the ford part you know what i'm saying look at these tires jerry they're the michelins i love those 235-80r 22.5 with the shiny alcoa rims now the one thing about winnebago they do make almost everything anything that they don't make they do use the best, the Michelins, the Alcoas, you know what I'm saying? It is the 7.3 liter V8 Godzilla engine. Cameras on both sides and chrome mirrors on both sides, very nice. And a Yoko window. That is a Yuno window, <laughs> Miss Jen. Bing. Please put Yuno, our dog. Uh, this is not a doggy window, it's not a cat window. But <gasps> doesn't matter if it's a dog window or a cat window. There are a lot of cat lovers out there. It's a frameless window, Andrea. And you can see this motorhome does have frameless windows throughout. Also, a great feature about Winnebago is they use Asdell for their fiberglass. Asdell is a composite material and it will never delaminate on you. Right here we have a nice insignia TV on the outside with sound system. Water heater right here. Look how beautiful it is. And then here, Andrea, is a refrigerator access. Right over here, look at these very nice aluminum slam latch doors. Again, made by Winnebago. There's a place that you can uh, leash up your fur. Yes. Your pet pal, as in your dog on the outside, not a cat. Right here, Andrea, we do have a propane tank. And then, Miss Jen, if you could, bing, please put all the specifications about Winnebago right there for everybody who is watching on television. And then, right over here, we got more storage. Very nice. Okay. Love these slam latch doors, Andrea. You just feel like you're getting a really nice quality product. You know what I'm saying? You can hear it too. Right over here, we have a lot bigger storage. And then look at these big slam latch doors. You know, they're fantastic. And then over here, we do have your Onan 5500 generator. Coming around the back, Andrea, we do have a 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. A ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Very nice from Winnebago. You can see the backup camera there. And then just look at the way Winnebago designs the rear of their coach. You could just see it's different, can't you? Yes. Looks better, looks beefier. I love kind of like the retro taillight look. 
Everything about this motorhome is fantastic. Finishing up right here, Andre, is going to be your potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Chrome handle doors. Okay. And Ooh, then look at this very bay. nice. This is what I'm talking about when I like a wet bay. That was a hit song. Sure. Right here, there's where you dump the tanks. Black tank flush, water filtration system, outdoor shower. Manufacturers who are not Winnebago. <laughs> This is what we like. Yes. This is what we expect. This is what I expect when I'm spending Class A gas money. You know what I'm saying? This is a little overkill, fuel fill up, but I like overkill because that also makes it look nice, doesn't it? It does. Right over here, black tank flush, 50 amp power cord, auto transfer switch, very nice. And over here. Other side of the storage. Yes. Andy. Right here we have Oh, nice it's a battery bank. Yeah, Marine Deep Cycle RVs. And then look at the brand of RVs right there. Napa Know How. <laughs> Napa. Very nice. We just wait for those to come up, don't we? I like it. Okay. But, by the way, we never can have a Napa sponsorship. I know. You know why? Because Todd from the NRVTA is coming out with his own batteries, right? Red Beard batteries. Yeah. So we definitely support Todd a lot more than we support Napa. Of course. So Todd, call me. We got to come up with a slogan like Napa Know How. Todd knows how. <laughs> He's going to get sued if I say that three times. Todd knows how. Todd. The outside of this motorhome looks great, Andrea, but the inside looks even better. Come on, let's go take a look. Guys, this motorhome is really, really beautiful. And uh, I gotta say, when I first came in it, I was very impressed, so. It's, it's not just about the looks, Andre. It's a well-built machine. 2,836 pounds okay. on the cargo carrying capacity. All right, so as you can see, the slide is in, but look at the walkway. The walkway is really good. Um, you could definitely open the fridge. It's pretty spacious walking through here. With the slide in, you can still get into the bathroom. And there is the master bedroom, which looks like you can use the bed with the slide in. So while we get these slide outs out, let's take a moment to thank the sponsors of this video. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. RV Life Trip Wizards allows you to carefully plan your RV trip before you go. It will show you every campground along the route and let you plan important aspects of your trip like fuel, rest stops, brake areas, and more. Know before you go with satellite views, street views, elevation, and grade charts. Then use the RV Life app to navigate your dream trip exactly the way you planned it. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. Andrea, look at how beautiful and spacious this motorhome is. Even notice the crown molding on the slide out. It's beautiful. Very beautiful residential. And this is what I'm expecting when I'm paying this type of money for a high end motorhome. Let's You're paying get, Winnebago money. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get started up front here. Andrea. It's a different kind. Check this out. Here's the cockpit, 7.3 liter V8. That's the same, right? I got cup holders, mirror control right there, nice steering wheel. This is what's different is the digital dash. Every other brand of manufacturer, none of them gets this because it's more expensive to do it this way. Winnebago doesn't care. They pay the price because they want it to be top of the line for their customers. So that's a very nice feature. Again, lane assist, adaptive cruise control. Make sure you talk to your salesperson first to make sure it has these features because again, some of them might not have it and I don't want you to rely solely on this video. You have been warned. Right here, look at how big the front area is. Sony screen right here. That's where you're gonna have your camera, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Auto leveling control there, AC, and your cup holders there. Andrea, how do you feel in the co-captain seat? It's very comfortable. Talk and, to me. And it also has a footrest, which is really nice. Oh, wow. Yes, they both swivel. There is a pedestal table that would go there. 
And guys, look, I have a little workstation, which is nice. Very nice. Cup holder and yes. a doggy window down there. Cup holder, and then they've got some storage above. Look at this little, like, map. Look, you see that? I do. Oh, man, that's so nice. It's very cute. Yeah, and you got a little motor home there. I love that. Same thing on this side. Oh, man, hang on a second. Look at this. The motor home through the mountains. And then screw the mountains. I'm at the beach now. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> the beach is so much better than the mountains. What do you say, Andrea? Um, uh, I, I don't know. All right. Well, you know what? I mean, if I think of Switzerland mountains, I'm going to say those are better than the beach. Yeah, but a Winnebago can't go there. Hey, actually, it could. Okay. We do have the MCD slow rise shades right here. Very nice. And then a bunk over the cab. Uh, this bunk over the cab does hold 500 pounds. There's a control panel right there, and it drops down, and you got plenty of space, and it's a nice thick mattress there. And there is a ladder that would go there. Exactly. Right over here, look at this cabinetry. So we need to get your opinion. Look at the cabinetry. Look at this. Mm -hmm. And look at the balances. Yes. Andrea. Approved, B! Oh, Andrea loves the interior of this motorhome. It's got that whole, like, uh, bohemian vibe to it. Is this the real <laughs> life? Is this just fantasy? In a Winnebago, no escape from reality. Is that what you mean? Um, no. But it's okay. Whatever, Andrea. You just don't know music like I do. I know, Matt. Very nice storage above. Very nice cabinetry. Again, talking about Winnebago, talking about the high end. You can not only see the quality, but you can feel the quality, and you can hear it too. Do you like the little uh, light above there? It, it's very cute. Okay. Over here, the dinette's a little tight, actually. Right here, we do have daytime shades and privacy shades, which is very nice. Cup holders here. Oh, hang on. Cup holders here, and there is some secret storage under this dinette. Bada bang, bada boom. How do you like that? Very you like apples, nice. Andrea? Yes, I like apples. Well, how do you like them apples? I like those apples. You know what movie that's from? Uh, no culture. No, what movie is it from? Good Will Hunting. I haven't seen that in so long, I wouldn't remember that. Nice uh, stitching right here. Again, Winnebago makes all their dinettes and then Check out what they do here. Oh, no, they didn't do it here. But. Oh my. Oh man. Oh no. Storage underneath. They need piano hinges. Winnebago. You know, I'm about to call up Matt Ellinger, even though he, he ain't the Winnebago guy no more. He runs Newmar, but Newmar and Winnebago are the same. You guys This is need... crazy. Look at the look at the mess. Yeah. So tough. I wouldn't even put storage in there now if I had this and had to go through that. It's gotta be an easier way. There you go. I'm leaving it like that, but it's not secure, Andrea. That wood piece is gonna be the devil while you're driving down the road. Winnebago, this message is for you. Beautiful motorhome. You need a piano hinge on this piece of plywood. You know what I'm saying? But Andrea, we will touch on that a little bit later. Say it ain't so, Winnebago. Show us his kitchen. Oh, I'd be glad to. This Talk to me. Beautiful. I love this frosted cabinetry here. Yes. It's very pretty. I like that there's a window in here. Yes. Now, this is different. They're doing this solid surface gray countertop. Beautiful. It is very pretty. And you have a very big residential style sink. Wow. The extension and a little lock. Uh, a and sink and a sink, yeah. Soak your dishes. And then, oops. Oh, how did that go? I don't even remember. All right, under, I love the two tone. Look at that. Wow, very yeah, they're pretty. doing blue. It's beautiful. Um, underneath, you got good storage for a trash can. Yes, ma'am. We've got three drawers. Okay. I love this color. Wow. And then above, we've got the high point convection microwave. Yes, very nice. I love the backsplash. Yes. Very colorful. And then we've got a, a one burner induction cooktop and a one burner propane cooktop. Okay. 
Under here, we got another drawer. You okay. also have some cutting boards, a cutting board for the other side of the sink. Yes. And then uh, under, we got like little shelves. Under the sea. And then over here, we have the Whirlpool residential refrigerator. Very nice. With an ice maker inside there. And then Matt, right back up at the front, it looks like this is the pantry. Okay. And of course, when yes. Diego likes to give out their little storage bins. Yes. I mean, very, very nice. Yep. And then not only that, Andrea, right over here, we have a little bit more. Oh, no, this is your satellite receiver. But like a little key hanger, the Winnebago style. And there is something under the fridge, Andrea, and I don't know what it is. No. Okay. That's just access panel. Mm -hmm. I thought it might have been like a drawer or something. So check this out. Entertainment center. Right over here. Tons of storage above. Here's your control center right there. Insignia TV. And then right here we got storage. This is an Amazon Smart Fire TV as well. Uh, and then right there we do have a in a flame fireplace. What is nice about that fireplace? It does produce heat from electricity. And then over here in the living room area, again, three more huge storages. You, you see what I'm saying there? I mean, and you can just tell, I mean, Andre, these are not flimsy whatsoever. They are secured and just very strong and nice. And then check out this sofa. I'm loving this. You want to get over there, Andrea? Extra seating. Ba, 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 ba. It definitely makes it feel definitely more homey with that sofa. Yeah. So it's like a little J sofa. Like that. I didn't pull it out. 100% right. But you get the idea. Just like that, Andrea, it's the J sofa. And then to put it back in, you go like this. Bada, bada bing, bing, bada boom. Just like that. And does that part jackknife right there? It sure does. Okay. And Andre, this sofa is made by Winnebago as well. Everything Winnebago does, they build in house. Not everything, but most things. So it's really, really nice, comfortable, and I got a good spot looking at the TV. And then show the, uh, that mirror there, and then look at the wallpaper. Very nice. Or not wallpaper, but like the wallboard. I remember when this motorhome first came out, we did not like it. But this one's very, very nice. And then the uh, lower wall right there, kind of like a chair rail or whatever. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this motorhome here, Andrea, is $265,632, Andrea. That is the MSRP. Sale price, we have a 25% off to a sale price of only $199,999. That is a phenomenal sale price. But Andrea, guess what? We actually have a, a couple 2023 still in stock. 268, 262 MSRP, 37% off to a sale price of $169,995. Andrea, both prices are fan freaking tastic. And again, if you're interested in buying this Winnebago or any Winnebago, all you have to do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and a member of our team will help you guys get the absolute best price in America on this Winnebago or 2023s. And again, we're only 70 miles north of Tampa. So if you see one that you like at the show, reach out to my team for the best price in America. Finishing up, coming on through here, we have a very nice half bath, mirrored medicine cabinet there. Pretty backsplash. Very nice sink. Very Moroccan. So yes, yeah, solid surface countertops and then storage here. I like the two-tone colors in here too. Porcelain toilet. It is raised up, but I'm still very good. And I'm tight, but I'm not touching. Andrea, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Good job. Very nice. And then look at this, even a little towel holder on the back of the door. Okay, going into the master, we got a nice love pocket door right here. Yes. Very nice queen size bed. Oh, love it. How do you like that? I love it. Look at the backsplash or the headboard, yep. I mean. Very bohemian, very Bo boho. Bo oh. It's boho. <laughs> very boho. And then like you that. got two cabinets above the bed. Yes. 
Good Very storage. good storage. And another one on that side. Little nightstands, yes. little bit with electrical outlets and a what USB there. Yep, USB and cigarette lighter thing. And then also look at this little end table. You can flip that up. You know what that's probably going to be used for, Andre? Like a CPAP yes. machine. Right over here, this comes with a combination washer dryer. Love that. Over here, we have very nice storage here. TV above there. And then, uh, whoa! Oh, a little look at laundry that. shoe. No, but I love that yeah. because you can't, oh man. That is smart. Nice storage here. Very smart because you know, when there's drawers under there, it's hard to get to. Yes. Good wardrobe space. Yes. And then here is some more drawers. Yep. Okay. And then. And Matt, let's just check and see yes. if there is a. Cool. Yep. There's still well, not. Bit. It's no. just for the ladder, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I gotta say, look at the pocket door going into the bathroom. It's really cute too with that mirror. Exactly. Very nice. And I then, like the floor in here. On. Oh, oh yeah. look at this. Look at this shower. Okay. This is a shower that, is shower that I want to shower in. Decent. This is a shower that I want to shower in. This very nice. It's a big good shower. Good headspace. Good width and depth. This is super nice. Love this shower. Wrapping on up, we do have a mirror right here. Nice cabinetry here. Liquefied, sitting on the countertop. That's our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. Guys, go to primepoopmusician.com to pick up a bottle or a bag. Solid surface countertop. Man, look at that storage. They have done an excellent job with this. Yes. A little bit of that. Wow, in yep. there too. Of course in toilet. Andre, there's no way that Winnebago does this. Because again, I'm really tight. But again, I'm not touching. So once again, by the skin of their teeth, this is also a prime pooping position. Bing! Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this motorhome, three things we dislike about it, Andrea. What would you like to do first? Let's do dislikes first. You go first. Okay, so uh, I couldn't find a lot, but the one thing I do not like in a high-end Class A gas motorhome is the vents in the floor. Not happy about that. I have pets, and you know I just don't want their collars or their leashes and stuff getting stuck. But wait, there is a vent in there the floor? There is vents in the floors. Okay. Yes. That is dislike number one. Andrea, dislike number two for me, I do love that J-Lounge. But when that J Lounge is out, it is a little tight walking through the area. So that's definitely, and you know what? It was a little silly and funky. So that's just dislike number two. But, uh, I, and you know what? I'm going to combo that. The dinette was tight as well. Not only that, you really need to have piano hinges there. So that's dislike number two. And then dislike number three for me, Andrea, I don't like the induction and the propane. Never have liked that. Never will like that. Um... But again, I mean, it's so tough to say this. It is. It you really, know, truly I, is. I didn't even show. Oh, yes, I did. But again, that's three things we don't like about it, Andre. And now it's time for three things we love about it. May I go first? Sure. Number one's going to be the uh, wet bay outside. That is beautiful. That is nice. That is exactly what we want to see when it comes to a motorhome. Andrea, what's number two? Number two for me is going to be, I love the colors in here. I love mm. the cabinet colors. I love their cute little, they're not balances, but I don't know what they're called. They're really Everything. cute. Everything is just got a fresh uh, take and it's different and Which I is, like that. And you know what? I've been very critical of Winnebago in the past. Yes. They hired somebody new. Yeah, it's 100%, beautiful. Kick butt, awesome, and they did a fantastic job. That's number two. And then number three, Andrea, I'm going to say the quality. And I hate saying that because it always sounds like I'm being a little biased. But what I'm saying is for this exact unit here, Everything feels solid. You know what I'm saying? It looks solid. It feels solid. You're paying more for a Winnebago than some of the other brands. But again, you're getting that Winnebago quality. And not only that, to combine it with Andrea's second like, to get that quality and the look, I mean, we got a real winner here. Well, guys, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. We can't wait to see everybody at the Tampa RV Super Show. Again, unfortunately, we cannot sell you a Winnebago at the show, but you can reach out to our team anytime, 24 seven, and they will get you the absolute best price in America. And Andrea, it's especially worth it because we're only 70 miles north of the uh, super show. If you guys have any questions, call the number 844-969-4033 or click the link down below. You can also get there from our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Andrea, what say you? 
Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Winnebago does read the comments. They do watch the videos, you guys. So fix those dang piano yes, hinges. so please leave your feedback. We hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Can't wait to see everybody at the Tampa show. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.